What's up guys? Welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to mine uh, all the major cryptocurrencies on a Mac um, that has an Intel or an M1 chip processor. Um, so to start you're going to head over to Google and look up XM Rig and you are going to click on the second link, the GitHub link on with the releases then you're going to scroll down to downloads these are all the different downloads for different OS's these are the two for us so if you have an M1 chip you're going to click on ARM64 and if you have an Intel chip you're going to click on X64 uh, if you don't know which one you have click on the about this Mac and it will show you in the processor I have an Intel but if you have an M1 it will also show here so I'm going to download X64 click on it uh, then I'm going to go to my downloads and double click to extract it. Then you have uh, the folder here. Uh, you can move this to your applications folder or wherever you want, but I'm just going to leave it in the downloads folder for now. Uh, so XM Rig is the actual application itself, but we have to do a little bit of setup before we do that. So we're going to click on config.json. Don't worry if this looks very confusing. You're just going to scroll down to the algo section. Um, we're only going to modify the algo, the URL, and then the user. So go back to Google and search up unminable.com. Then this is where you're going to choose which uh, cryptocurrency you want to mine. They have a lot of options and they add them quite regularly. So I'm going to click on, I'm going to mine VeChain. Uh, and since we're running on a Mac, um, we're going to use RandomX using our CPU since, since we don't have a dedicated GPU. Then this is the information we're going to need. So if you go back to the config.json, we're going to change the algorithm to and this is for all um, all currencies, all cryptocurrencies. It doesn't matter which one you're you're gonna mine. So you're gonna type rx forward slash zero quotation. Don't forget the quotations around them. So yeah, again, this is this will be for your case too. Um, no matter what coin you're mining. Same with uh, the next the URL. This is also going to be the same for yours. No matter what currency you're mining. So this is the server that we're going to be running on and this is it right here if you're having troubles in the future i would just switch the port to the, to adding a one in front of it this is an alternative port they offer uh, but for now let's just start with this i'm going to copy that and then go back and we're going to just paste it in between Perfect. And then the last thing we need to set up is the user. So this is the actual um, actual coin you're mining as well as the address for it. So for my case, uh, where I'm mining VeChain, but the big picture is here is no matter what coin you're mining, just take the uh, ticker symbol of it. For VeChain, it's VET, um, and you can easily find that online. So I'm going to put VET. In the quotation marks and then colon everyone has a colon after after their the ticker symbol and then I'm gonna put my address so I put my address here copy that and then put my address and then after that you can put if you want a worker name that you can track it on the on the website uh, you can for stats you could put a, a to put up a worker name period and then the name whatever you want to put so I'm gonna put MacBook Pro and that's it so the settings are all set up now for it to run I'm gonna press save and then we can close it and then we're gonna go back and now we can open the application uh, XM rig so I can double click on that open for security reasons you can see yeah you can open it it's trusted then here we go so this is the initial setup that it's doing and then this is when it's actually starting to mine 
So if you see, if you have any issues and it's not working, it will tell you what the issues are here. Um, but again, usually the issues all stem from either if the server is not working or if you've entered anything in the settings um, wrong. So double check that you have that all correct when you're setting it up. Uh, other than that, if you want to check your stats online to see your balance and hash rate, you can go back to Google and go to unminable again, and then you can put your your address if you want you can go to address click on the coin you want and then it will go and it will show you your balance as well as your hash rate down here so if you can see these are all my workers and that's the name I put after so that's where it shows um, so that's your hash rate and then your balance so as well as you can also make an automatic payment or a manual payment after 50 after a certain threshold depending on what coin you're mining uh, so you can manually pay out after 50 or it will automatically pay out after 50 so yeah that's pretty much it uh, if you guys have any questions leave them down in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, hopefully it was helpful I'll catch you the next one peace